This is really exciting. Welcome to another vlog. This is really exciting because we're going to Canada. Yes, we are. This is the beginning of April. I thought I'll pick up the camera today because I am going to a, a video filming shoot in West London. So I've been invited by another YouTuber, Metro Gypsy, yay! And I'm going to shoot um, two episodes that's gonna go up on her channel and I thought I'd bring you guys with me and do some behind the scenes and then we need to go to my art gallery that I go to every month because there's a show this month of April and then we're going to Canada and there's a surprise waiting for me in Canada which I cannot wait to share with you guys anyway I am whispering because it's just at nine o'clock on a Saturday morning but wait 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 if this is your first time welcome 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 my name is vivian i'm a nigerian born london based lifestyle and travel vlogger and i upload on this channel every sunday 5 30 pm london time let me know in the comment section how you found me and if this is not your first time you are the reason i still have my camera lenses and make sure you have clicked the subscribe button now let me go and get dressed there's two outfits that i need to wear today i think i'm gonna wear outfit number one all the way to West London and then afterwards I'll change to outfit number two and you guys will see a little bit of behind the scenes okay so this is outfit number one it's called splash of prints this is a tea shirt dress from purple buttons on Instagram you guys read outfit number one and then you're going to see outfit number two much later when we're shooting behind the scenes Richmond has a bit of the Thames too. That cannot be a bad idea. Anyway guys, I'm almost here, so I'll show you a tiny bit of behind the scenes, okay? Are you serious right now? If anybody found my eyes, let me know. You did yours? Did you not give me a question? I said I did not read it. I did not When is it? When are we doing it? I'll see exactly that one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're uh, Sorry, Auntie. Um, I don't know if I'll sit down here again. That's the Auntie. Mm -hmm. People of the Lord, that's the Auntie. Hi, guys. Like Ma, make sure you subscribe to her yeah, channel. Yes, yes, share yeah, with your friends. Yes. Drop a f***ing comment. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where YouTube now demonetizes. Yeah, I don't understand. And, and I think what it, it shows in even in my Instagram. Yeah. Like, I just had a big job. I don't know if there was something hey. inside there. Yeah, it's a lot. I just looked at Darren's Instagram now and I was like, It's not perfect. It's so. just, I'm just like, wow. Is it curated? It's very beautifully curated. Oh my god, thank you. You should teach the rest of us a thing or two. I used to bother myself about curating. No, 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 some people are good. You don't give up. <laughs> Some people are just good at it. No, some people are just good at it. Oh, so let's change for you guys. Good evening. Ah, has been ready since last year. <laughs> Hey guys, it's almost the week of me flying to Canada. Can you hear my voice? I woke up yesterday and I had this whole thing filled, and it feels like it's hay fever. Of course, the first thing anyone does is COVID test. Don't COVID test is negative. I keep doing the test every two days. I've gone and bought this thing. It's not focusing so you can't see. It's a nasal spray. I don't know about you. I don't know if anyone else experiences hay fever. 
but I have it I experienced it maybe once in two years or once in five years and I've just been sneezing like the sneeze wakes me up in the morning and I take that antihistamine before I open the windows but I just feel like I know I'm not sick but because I'm sneezing and my nose is just running and I have a lot of kata 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 mm -hmm. I'm just so tired and it makes me nervous about traveling because if I'm not feeling well why do I want to get on the trip but the other thing I haven't told you guys is I've actually booked Bahamas on a whim so I'm spending four days in Bahamas on this trip to Canada so it's supposed to be fun but not feeling very well I'm invited to coach near where I live because they're doing a shop and save event and lots of goody treats if I feel good enough tomorrow I might go tomorrow Sunday I'll take you guys with me and I don't know if I'll even find the time to go to the art gallery that I wanted to take you guys with me because I've filmed the vlog for that gallery specifically but it hasn't gone up yet and I just wanted to take you guys to an art gallery again because the very first time I filmed the vlog for that I lost the footage so I'm just like let me just add it to this one so at least I get the art gallery out but I'm trying to manage my energy because I have five days before my trip so I don't know if I feel well enough tomorrow I'll head out to coach just to see what they have me I'm just looking because I'm going to Canada I have plans to shop for the things that I'm missing from my wardrobe remember I did a declutter vlog so I'm not really shopping a lot and I have I've just realized I have a big spend coming up at some point this year so I might come back from that Canada trip without buying loads because any money I spend is one less money I don't have so this is what it means to be mature and then finally I'm feeling really down um I filmed we filmed the documentary for incredible everyday woman today which was good the story was very very inspiring and for the first time we have someone who's 50 something and the Skype recording I don't know what happened to the footage we're looking for it I've turned the computer upside down I've had to shut it down this evening I can't find it I don't know what I'm gonna do and then this camera keeps being really whitewashed I don't know I'm gonna try and do some research because I don't want it to rain all my vlogs I've just watched an incredible everyday woman video which I filmed partly with this camera the documentary and it's so whitewashed and the production team are gonna do some color correction which <laughs> see I'm just feeling down I just want to cry I don't... the next day guys it's been so real today like I coughed all through last night I think I almost lost my voice <clears throat> this morning I just decided that I was gonna chill so I've been resting like I didn't go to the coach thing because <laughs> I, I didn't have it in me <clears throat> I, the only thing I've done today is sleep drink lots of hot drinks just to help my throat um, I was given Maluka honey so I've drank that I noticed I'm watering a lot from this eye I don't know what it is I just need to slow down in terms of update, I'm so happy I have finally been able to do the setting of this camera. So I even have it such a way that it focuses on me and you can see that my coffee table books. Oh, I haven't shown you guys the new house tour. The camera is finally working, which is so annoying because I filmed the documentary of an incredible everyday woman yesterday and I think the, the settings were so wrong. Anyway, I just wanted to check in. Today's Sunday. I've just been resting and I'm about to clean my flat now and start getting ready for packing for Canada. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey guys, this is two days after I last picked up the camera and what happened was I tested positive to C19. Don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. After testing negative for so long, <coughs> the interesting thing is my symptoms were very much hay fever like. I had blocked nose, I had mucus. I think it was Sunday where I picked up the camera. 
I was coughing a lot. My throat really hurt, like it was burning. And I think I mentioned when I last picked up the camera that I had lost my voice. It's so interesting that those symptoms would not be anything I would have attributed to C19. But I tested positive. So this is the second time I'm testing it since I tested positive two days ago. And it's still very much clearly positive. So now I'm self-isolating. And the sad part, the sad part of all of this is I'm meant to be flying to Canada in two days. So that is cancelled. The other part I was quite excited about was I was meant to be flying to the Bahamas for the first time from Canada. All my reservations with that cancelled. I don't know if I'll be able to get my money back. Now let me talk about how I've been approaching C19 since the government removed all restrictions in the UK. I do test every week and then if I have the slightest headache or whatever, I just do a test just to be sure. And I still wear my mask. I haven't been out of the house oh, a week ago and then after that I went grocery shopping one day of course with masks and then I went to do my pedicure of course with a mask so I rarely go out of my house apart from my daily walk unless I need to and yet I got it and this is I have my niece messaging me and saying, Auntie, when are you coming to Canada? And I'm like, I'll see you for your birthday. It's not happening. Bahamas and my flights and everything. It's not happening. But what's happening is that as you're watching this on Easter Sunday, I am isolating in my house. I am not with family. I'm trying to see the brighter side. I don't know what I'm saying. This is why you guys did not see any vlog last Sunday because I was so knocked out. Even though I felt guilty, tell me if you missed the vlog or if you're one of those people who is like, ah, ah Vivian, 5.30, you did not upload. I, I was just lying down on the sofa the whole day, coughing, really tired, my throat hurting, and I was like, the last thing I want to do is put pressure on myself to open my laptop and start uploading. So I didn't. Which means that we're behind on Paris vlog, but I'm sure you guys will support me. I'm sure you guys understand. That's why I wanted to share because I respect my audience that you guys come on here every Sunday 5.30 to get an update or to get a vlog or to get to learn something. So what I'm going to try and do is continue to rest and recover. So the medications I'm taking is cough medication and lots of lemon and ginger and lime and honey. I've been drinking, leaking a lot of Manuka honey and that's helped me with my throat and the cough. My throat hurting is coming down. And then I've been taking lemon sip from Boots, which I found really strong and I've been mixing with honey. So those are the things I've been taking for the symptoms I've been getting because it's throat and it's mucus. And then my eye has been watering. I haven't done anything with the eye watering. Really what I'm going to try and do is the sunday after easter sunday you guys are gonna see paris vlog but i'm gonna put up two vlogs so i'm gonna do paris day two and paris day three so if you see two vlogs premiering it's on purpose so that we can just catch up on that and then we're, we i've had requests about ask viv and youtube live so we're probably gonna have a youtube live after that on a sunday so if you're not subscribed please please subscribe and please turn your notification on and if this video you found it useful leave me a comment tell me what you found useful about this video was it a reset for you to realize that rc19 is still out there sharing with somebody else who was still doubting if the restrictions means the pandemic was over um, if you haven't seen me on instagram because i've been mia on my stories now you know why guys i'm tired i need to go back and lie down